I'm joined now by a very good friend and a fabulous surgeon, Dr. Tiwasak from Thailand, from Bangkok. Tiwasak, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you, as always, good to see you. I've, I've learned so much from you. You know, you are, and, and the audience knows this, but you're one of the top um, mitral surgeons in, in Asia. And you do, you have a tremendous um, burden of rheumatic disease in your country in Asia. Tell us a little bit about that. Thank you, Randy, for your kind word. Yeah, rheumatic heart disease is really a big burden for us. It's, it's, it's a majority of cases that we are now doing. And the burden is not just a number of cases, but it's the burden of how to provide the best care for them. Right. I tell you the truth that uh, many, many years ago, when I came back from my training, I, I changed the valve a lot using prosthetic valve. So you did, you did mitral valve replacements? Yes. And most of them are young, so we need to use a mechanical. And only to find out that uh, only about half of them came back for, for follow-up. So you, you put in mechanical valves, they're on they anticoagulant, and they just disappear. Yeah, this means this mean they are suffer for, for some time later. That makes us to think about um, what is the best care for them. And if we cannot provide the best one, we should think about something better. So that is why we turn ourselves to do something like, to focus on the mitral valve repair. But uh, to repair in rheumatic is not easy because it's quite complex. Right. And we are in the beginning. We, are, we have less experience. That is why, but we, we think that this is a way to go. But we need to, some, we need to have some good approach and tactic. So my approach actually is what I call is to focus, to centralize, to break it to, and then to spread it out. Okay. <laughs> tell me, tell me a little bit about that. So. That means uh, we start focus on the simple rheumatic valve repair first. And the simple is the young patient. No, it's the rheumatic MR. First. Okay, rheumatic MR, regardless of the age. Yeah, but mostly. Not, not the not, when I said young, I meant the young rheumatic. Patient. Yeah, yeah. Is an adult one, not the too small okay, baby. Okay. That's a rheumatic MR, and then we we slowly pull the case that we call centralized and break it through so that we can accumulate our experience. Right. And once we achieve that, we spread it to the other to, to do, and then we move to another from rheumatic MR to rheumatic MS MR, okay. and lastly to rheumatic MS. The reason that we have to do that because. Safety of the patient is the key. Safety of the patient, always. Yeah. So we, by, by doing that, we can provide something that we think better, so, and they are safe. So, so you're dealing with a patient population that, that might not come back for follow-up. Yeah. Or, you know, or they might be young, they might want to have children. And, uh, actually, yes, partly. But the other thing is that, uh, when we do the valve repair, we know that if something went wrong, they still have time to come to seek help. Right, right. Very different from prosthetic valve mechanical. When that we goes should, bad, it can go bad that, suddenly. Suddenly, yeah. Or a stroke. Or yeah, yeah. That's, that's why we know. And by, by doing this kind of approach, slowly we ourselves gain more experience as well. And we can do something better. And once we can do better. We can distribute our knowledge and experience to our colleagues, to other centers. Got it. And then now we are doing what I call the Mitoval Repair Excellence Center throughout Thailand, throughout the whole region. We see collaboration between our friends from different countries like Dr. Ban Phan from Vietnam, right. Azari from Malaysia. And in this way, we can strengthen ourselves up and to do something better. It's fabulous. Uh, and it, and it, you're, you're in essence doing the reference mitral center concept where, and, and linking it to other centers. So how do you, you know, when I, I kept referencing young patients, because I'm thinking about the patients we see in this country who are old and have densely calcified scarred valves. So how do you go about repairing these valves? Are you, you do, you do a peel, you do all sorts of stuff? Actually, yes, that is something very important. We, 
we really learn from from your people, from pioneer people like you, from many guys as our mentor. And we have been taught about the very strong principle. But it's just when we go back to do valve repair back home, we need to adapt this principle because the pathology of the mitral valve is very different. And how to achieve the the type one good coaptations sort of thing, something like in rheumatic. The, the core problem is the tissue retraction. Thick okay, and, scarring. Yeah, scarring, scarring and retraction. Okay. We need to solve that problem by different approach and technique, but guided by the strong principle that we learn. And gradually we can move on and find a way, and find a way to do that more and more and more. And just quickly, in sort of closing, what is the principle Leaf, you know, um, I know I've seen you do leafwood peeling and then and then putting pericardial patches and all. So you re, you recreate the flexibility of the valve. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes, and I, I have to say that during these uh, my own ex, uh, uh, practice, the principle of type one coaptation and LV annular remodeling, coaptation need tissue. Correct need both good quantity and good quality. And the leaflet need to move in three directions, up, down, transfer, and below him. So this is all the key that once we can realize this, we find a way to that peeling, do a lot of uh, fenestration, using a lot of tissue repair, then we can achieve the same principle okay. as our partner. Well, you you know the, the the you know you're to be complimented because you emphasized at the beginning that you want to do what's best for the patient and safety wise, and and you certainly have been a leader, and, and you you know you've you've taught us a lot, I think, and you know so it's always good to see you. Thank you very much for visiting. Thank you very much. Thank you.